Hey, what's happening everyone? My name is Ryan and today I wanted to show you how you can get a cinematic table scene using only one lighting setup. Let's get into it. One second. There we go. The table scene, or even commonly called the dinner scene, can be a super simple look to achieve if you know what you're looking for. In this case, we're going for more of a cinematic style look. So let's dive in and see how we can accomplish this. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is start by turning off all of the in-house lighting, including all of the practicals that you don't want in the scene. After you have your room all set up, the next thing you wanna do is set up your top lighting. Top lighting is most commonly used when filming a table scene because whether it's a table in the restaurant or in the dining room at home, it's most representative of the overhead lighting above them. For this, we're gonna use our Aperture 120D and set that on a C stand and add a softbox. The softbox I'm using here is the Aperture 6090 and I decided to leave the grid on it because I wanted to further focus the lighting on our subject. This is looking really good already, but at this point I wanted to soften the image a bit by lifting the shadows on the subject. And you know, the subject being me. So for this, I just wanted to add a little bit of bounce and I decided to use this white card. It's just a project card that I got from the grocery store or something that you could use for science projects or whatever for school. You can really just use anything that you have available. Even a white piece of paper would do the trick. Here's an example of me doing that here just to show you what I mean. So the effectiveness of this technique is gonna be dependent on how bright your lighting source is. So if you're exposing for this light, you might want to make it a little bit brighter and expose for that. If you need to lift the shadows a little higher and if you'd like your shadows to be a little darker and a little more moody, then I would expose for a lower brightness on your video light and set the balance accordingly. It's important to have a good balance between your lighting and your bounce and everything else in the room. So just play around with this technique and see what balance works best for you. In this case, I decided to set my aperture 120D at 64% and set my white card at a 45 so that it wasn't spilling on the background behind me. Now that my lighting was all set up, I just wanted to round out the scene a bit with a bit of props and set design and a little bit of haze. I decided to do this to add a bit of depth and to accentuate the lighting coming from above and also, you know, why not? <laughs> and that is it my friends. Here is a quick look of all the work that we just did, starting with just the practical light, then our top lighting, then our bounce, and of course, our haze. If you'd like to see more one light setups like this one, check out this video here. If you like this video or you learned something, please click the like button down below. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one. Later.